Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to create a walking stickman using the stop motion technique. It is something quite simple that will give you great results or at least very decent results and it's also something that you will be able to use in many projects because it's a very versatile idea. To begin with let's look for inspiration so let's type in stickman no sorry stop frame animation stickman let's go to images and da, 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 let's take this okay contact down passing up and contact contact again so we are only going to design for costumes let's put this on the right side of the screen scratch on the left and let's delete the cut add a new sprite we're going to paint and let's begin I'm gonna take a circle with a black fill by pressing shift I'm gonna make a regular circle a bit bigger maybe okay and now let's take this line something like 20 pixels it could be in my case a little bit more the width of this line depends on how big you've made the head okay let's make it a bit longer okay and let's continue making lines the legs here one leg the other leg here and the arms okay now we're gonna use the reshape tool with this tool we're going to modify whatever we need I'm gonna select this leg and move this a little bit we can move the arms as well okay and more or less we have the first contact so now right click duplicate and let's go to the next which is down I'm gonna select this leg and I'm gonna create a knee so I need a point here this point has to be pointed I don't really know if the name of this um, things are point or node I don't know these intersections you know what I'm talking about let's move it and this one has to be on the ground maybe over here all right the arms over there this one here and I'm gonna create an elbow pointed small elbow here that's more or less this and now the knee here so we select we create a point we make it pointed as you see I'm using the reshape tool all the time and that one is something like this yes so we have it if you accidentally add a dot where you don't want to have a dot just click there and delete okay and let's go to passing so right click duplicate and let's make passing all right passing is done and now let's go to up right click duplicate and let's make up all right now um, we don't need this anymore but we're going to to put a trick into practice I'm gonna tell you that trick I'm gonna go to backdrops I'm gonna take a rectangle okay to make type of ground here maybe the outline doesn't need to be that way and I'm gonna put the stickman exactly on the ground but with costume number one and now we are going to check and this is very important if every costume all right each of these four costumes are exactly on the ground it is 
In this case, we can make that better because it should be, I mean, not necessarily, but I think it should be touching the ground a little bit. That one could be okay. And this one, okay, could be okay as well. In some cases, um, it is very typical that this one is like over here. And that would look a bit strange when it's walking, okay? So make sure this is over there, okay? And now um, you can get rid of the backdrop if you want to. We'll put it here. We can even make it smaller, like 70 is enough. And let's go to code. The code is going to be super simple. When green flag clicked forever, we are going to go to the next costume, but that's going to be too fast, as you see. So we're going to add a weight block. And this weight could be 0.1 seconds, but I mean, that depends on your liking, on how fast you want your stickman to move the arms and legs. But I think that's quite reasonable. And that's done. Now let's make it work by creating a parallel program that is going to make our stickman move something like five steps and bounce if it is touching the edge. This has a very small problem. It's going to be upside down when moving to the left. So, well, the solution is quite simple. Go to direction and click on left, right, or directly you can set the rotation style left, right. Okay. And that's finished. Here we have the walking stickman. It looks awesome. We've done it very fast. It is a very simple project that you can put into practice quickly. And as I've told you, use it in many other games that you want to. All right. So this is what I wanted to show you today, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.